I had a little business actually downtown on State Street, um, my first skincare business. I just wanted to like expand my business and I kind of wanted to get famous. <laughs> you know, I wanted in my industry to be really good at what I do and really known for what I do. And I left to New York to do that. I've gotten in the media quite a bit for doing eyebrows and um, yeah, it's something I'm pretty proud of actually. And it's exciting, like every time it never gets old. Like when somebody wants to do a story on you, it's like always, it's always like a compliment and very exciting. I was born and raised here and I just, I always loved it here. I mean, I think it's like a little jewel, you know, uh, living on the water and just like the small town friendliness and all the merchants kind of knowing each other and that sort of thing. and. You know, my friends, my very good friends and my family are all here and um, I missed home. I was just ready to come back after like 13 or so years in New York, yeah. One of the things when I moved to New York that I was looking forward to was the diversity that it has to offer. And coming back here, I feel like New London has that more than they used to. I feel like there's a lot of diversity here and just interest, you know, like there's a downtown music scene and art scene and um, the restaurants around here are also surprisingly really amazing. So yeah, I think it's definitely changed for the better. I love it here. And like, I, mean, I lived in New York for 13 years and like I'm re I really became a real city girl and I have everything, the best of everything at my fingertips, you know, and I still like, I don't really miss it. I, I'm happy to be back.